The use of hydrogen fuel cell cars, HSCVs, is on the rise again. Author, lecturer, and businessman Tony Seba, however, claims that HSCVs can't stand up to the convenience and affordability of electric cars. At best, the hydrogen economy would consume six times as much energy as an electric car and use many times as much water as gasoline. But it's time over for electric Teslas. Hello guys, welcome to CarsAid.com. This video will discuss the hottest topic, a debate between hydrogen and electric cars. But the question remains the top priority, will Toyota's hydrogen cars beat Tesla's electric cars? Without further ado, let's get started. Toyota is following Tesla's lead by trying to stimulate the development of the fuel cell supplier and hydrogen filling station network. Could this be the swan song for a system that has run its course? Can it revive the FCV industry, which has been stagnant for decades? Does investing in a hydrogen fuel cell vehicle, HSCV, still make sense? Toyota's second-generation Mirai hydrogen fuel cell electric car attempts to lure buyers away from battery electric vehicles. Toyota Mirai is now more competitive against its strictly plug-in electric rivals due to its streamlined new design, improved agility, and longer range, despite the limited hydrogen fueling infrastructure that remains a major problem. But can it compete with the Tesla Model 3, one of the most remarkable and cost-effective long-range electric vehicles available? The Model 3 and the Mirai are EVs, but they're fundamentally distinct. Electricity for a fuel cell EV is produced onboard from hydrogen propellant, making it different from a standard battery EV. The hydrogen and atmospheric oxygen are combined in a fuel cell stack to generate electricity. It only gives off water vapor. Despite these distinctions, the Mirai has a similar experience to a battery electric car due to the electric drive motor's lack of lag when accelerating. The Mirai has smooth propulsion but could be faster. Due to its well-timed power delivery, drivers won't have any trouble merging onto the freeway or passing other vehicles, but those seeking a quick start should look elsewhere. We still need to verify Toyota's claimed 9.2-second acceleration to 60 miles per hour. Mirai produces just 182 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque. Conversely, the Tesla Model 3 is one of the fastest sit-ins ever tried. We reached 60 miles per hour in 3.1 seconds while driving the performance model's 450 horsepower and 471 pound-feet of torque. A long-range version needed an additional 0.9 seconds to reach its target. The Mirai has responsive handling and a stable feel in turns, but we prefer the Model 3 for Canyon, carving thanks to its superior agility and negligible body roll. It's difficult to say whether Toyota's hydrogen cars will beat Tesla's electric cars as both technologies have advantages and limitations. On the one hand, hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like those produced by Toyota have the potential to offer longer driving ranges and faster refueling times than most battery electric vehicles. They'd also emit only water vapor as their primary exhaust, making them an attractive option for environmentally conscious consumers. On the other hand, electric vehicles like those produced by Tesla have seen significant advancements in battery technology in recent years, which has led to increased driving ranges and faster charging times. Additionally, electric vehicles have a more established infrastructure, with a network of charging stations in many regions. Ultimately, each technology's success will depend on various factors, including advancements in technology, infrastructure development, consumer demand, and government policies. Both technologies will likely coexist and complement each other in the transportation market, with consumers choosing the technology that best meets their needs and preferences. That's not it. Let's talk about the key differences both types of car offer to their customers. But before we do that, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos on cars and electronics. The main difference between Toyota's hydrogen cars and Tesla's electric cars is the technology they use to power the vehicle. Toyota's hydrogen cars are powered by a fuel cell that converts hydrogen into electricity, which powers an electric motor. The only byproduct of this process is water, making hydrogen cars zero-emission vehicles. Hydrogen fuel cells have the potential to offer longer driving ranges and faster refueling times than battery electric vehicles, making them an attractive option for consumers who prioritize convenience and driving range. In contrast, Tesla's electric cars are powered by rechargeable batteries that store electrical energy, which powers an electric motor. Electric cars emit no tailpipe emissions and offer instant torque, making them a popular choice for environmentally conscious consumers who prioritize performance and sustainability. Electric vehicles have seen significant advancements in battery technology in recent years, which has led to increased driving ranges and faster charging times. Overall, both hydrogen fuel cell vehicles and battery electric vehicles are promising technologies that have the potential to play a significant role in reducing greenhouse gas emissions from the transportation sector. The choice between them will depend on individual preferences, driving habits, 
and the availability of supporting infrastructure in each region. We will stop here with the differences because I just remembered that somebody was discussing the problems with their Tesla, and here I'd like to draw attention to the problems that occur with both vehicles. Both Toyota's hydrogen cars and Tesla's electric cars have faced their unique challenges and limitations. One of the main challenges with Toyota's hydrogen cars is the need for more infrastructure for producing, storing, and distributing hydrogen fuel. While the technology is promising, the cost of building and maintaining a hydrogen fueling network is significant, and progress has needed to be faster in many regions. Additionally, there have been concerns over the safety of hydrogen fuel cells, as hydrogen is a highly flammable gas and requires special handling and storage procedures. Similarly, Tesla's electric cars have faced challenges related to the availability and accessibility of charging infrastructure. Although the number of charging stations has increased significantly recently, particularly in developed countries, the charging network still needs to be more extensive than the traditional gas station network. Electric vehicles can also experience range anxiety, particularly when traveling long distances, as charging times can be longer than refueling a traditional gas-powered vehicle. Both technologies have also faced challenges related to their cost. Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are currently more expensive than battery electric vehicles, and the cost of hydrogen fuel is higher than gasoline or electricity in many regions. Electric vehicles are also more expensive upfront than traditional gas-powered vehicles. However, their operating costs are typically lower over the vehicle's life due to lower fuel and maintenance costs. Hydrogen fuel cells and electric vehicles are promising technologies but face infrastructure, costs, and consumer adoption challenges. Continued research, development, and infrastructure investment will be necessary to address these challenges and accelerate the transition to low-carbon transportation. If you like this video, like it and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates. Now let's head towards the price market of both types of cars. Currently, Toyota's hydrogen cars are generally more expensive than Tesla's electric cars. This is partly due to the higher cost of producing and developing hydrogen fuel cell technology and battery electric technology. As of March 2023, Toyota's Mirai hydrogen fuel cell car has a starting price of around $64,000 in the United States. In comparison, Tesla's Model 3 electric car has a starting price of around $39,000. However, it's worth noting that the price of both vehicles can vary depending on the trim level, options, and geographic location. It's also important to consider the operating costs of each vehicle. Hydrogen fuel typically costs more per mile than electricity and the availability of hydrogen fueling infrastructure can be limited in some areas. In contrast, electric vehicles can be charged at home or public charging stations, and the cost of electricity is generally lower than gasoline or hydrogen fuel. Additionally, incentives and subsidies can also impact the price of both types of vehicles. Governments worldwide have introduced a range of incentives to encourage the adoption of low-emission vehicles, including tax credits, rebates, and other financial incentives. The availability and amount of these incentives can vary depending on the region and can significantly reduce the upfront cost of purchasing a new vehicle. Overall, both Toyota's hydrogen and Tesla's electric cars are still relatively expensive compared to traditional gas-powered vehicles. However, as technology improves and economies of scale are achieved, prices are expected to decrease, making low-emission vehicles more accessible to a wider range of consumers. Before we end our video, let's recap the topic. Toyota plotting to beat Tesla pouring billions into electric cars. Subscribe to the channel and like this video. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments. Toyota invests heavily in electric cars to compete with Tesla in the rapidly growing electric vehicle market. Toyota has committed to investing $13.6 billion in battery development and production by 2030, intending to have 70 electric or fuel cell models available by 2025. The company has also partnered with other automakers to develop standardized battery technology and charging infrastructure to reduce costs and increase adoption. Toyota sees electric vehicles as a crucial part of its future strategy as governments worldwide introduce stricter emissions regulations and consumers increasingly prioritize sustainability. While Tesla currently dominates the electric vehicle market, Toyota and Volkswagen are betting that their significant investments in technology, production, and infrastructure will enable them to catch up and compete more effectively in the years ahead. Now, since the public buys cars, their opinions matter, and I did my little research to know that people buy the most electric or hydrogen cars. Electric cars are currently more popular and more widely adopted than hydrogen cars. According to the International Energy Agency, there were over 10 million electric cars worldwide in 2020, compared to around 11,200 hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. There are a few reasons why electric cars are more popular than hydrogen cars. One reason is that electric cars have been on the market for longer and are more widely available, with a broader range of models and price points. 
In addition, the infrastructure for charging electric cars is more developed than the infrastructure for refueling hydrogen cars, which can be more expensive and less accessible. Another factor is that electric cars are generally more efficient and have a longer driving range than hydrogen cars. While both vehicles have zero tailpipe emissions and can help reduce greenhouse gas emissions, electric cars are more energy efficient, with less energy lost in the conversion process. This means that they can travel further on a single charge than hydrogen cars on a fuel tank. However, it's worth noting that both electric and hydrogen cars are still in the early stages of adoption, and both markets have significant potential for growth. As technology improves and infrastructure becomes more widely available, both vehicles could become more competitive and appealing to a wider range of consumers. That's all for today, folks, and we hope you like this video. Keep watching for more amazing videos, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel on your way out. See you next time. Until then, bye.